to Arc Tutorials. This is Bootstrap 5 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In today's episode, we are going to learn about Bootstrap Carousel component. Carousels are like a slideshow of content which rotates automatically or through controls and are definitely used to increase the user experience on the web page. Let's learn all about it in this episode. This is part 31 of the Bootstrap 5 full tutorial playlist. I have planned around 40 plus tutorials in this particular series, some including live examples and live coding as well. If you haven't checked out the full playlist, please do so. There are some live projects around grid and layouts that we have done, which I'm using in this particular episode. If you have any questions on any of these topics, feel free to reach out to me in the comments section. I'll be happy to help you. If you like my work and tutorials, please consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arctutorials. All right, let's talk about Carousel. Carousel is a slideshow for cycling through a series of content. Now, definitely this is using a bit of JavaScript, so you need to import bootstrap.js as well. Carousels enhance the user experience on the web page. And let's talk about some of the built-in classes that are supporting supported by Bootstrap for Carousel. So important classes that you should remember are class equal to Carousel. This is the main opening or I would say the parent DIV of that particular component. You have Carousel Inner which is basically the content inside the Carousel that you want to place. Each item is given a class Carousel-item which tells that this is a carousel item that needs to be rotated. There are other things like carousel hyphen controls and there are also for captions. We'll see that when we do hands on. So these are the main classes that you should remember if you want to implement bootstrap carousel. Now let's go ahead and get started with our coding. So I'm using one of the existing uh, layout that we did as part of the live coding, which is basic uh, two column template. So we'll be using this to enhance it. All right, that being said, uh, the best way to get started, if you don't want to remember all the classes or how it has to be rendered, the best way is always to start with the documentation. So go to getbootstrap.com, search for Carousel. You would see different variations, different implementations here. I'm going to use with captions. So if you see this with captions, you will have three main things that it has. The controls to slide the content. It would have an image with text, and then there are these bottom, um, I would say the indicators basically. These are called indicators and these are called controls. So the coding, uh, the code for that would be just like how we have carousel inner, we have carousel indicators, which is for these three lines below. And then you have carousel items, which is the data that you want to rotate or basically the container content, which is image and the text. Finally, you will have the buttons, which is for the left and the previous and the next navigation. All right. So let's go ahead, fork this code, copy this code, and then we will customize it in our application. So I'm going to build a div and say class equal to card. And then I'm going to copy paste that content inside this. Now let's go ahead and see that we should not see this because there is no image for now. So I'm going to go ahead and customize this and give images. For now, I'm going to use the placeholders, which is via.placeholder.com slash say 50 into 20. That's what I want the height of this image to be. Copy this placeholder image and copy that for all the sources and save it. So once you do it, you should be able to see that placeholder image with the title here that we see for the first slide. Now you see the controls and the indicators Let's test them. So once you click on the next and previous, that's working. You have the indicators, which are again used for the same navigation, but you can jump through them. Let's say you have multiple, you can directly go to the third one here. That's the difference between the, uh, the previous and the next control. You can customize the content inside it. You can customize how data you want to represent, maybe some classes. So yeah, those are the basic implementation of Carousel. Again, you have something like crossfade. If you want to enable that, just add this class name that is carousel hyphen fade. So you can see it will fade away, right? So let's add that here to carousel slide, carousel hyphen fade, and go back to our application. 
and now when you do that it would just fade away right uh, the reason we are not seeing is because um, the, it's the same image so that's why you're not seeing that effect but go ahead and add it in your application and test it now you can add some intervals that you want to give like for example you want certain things to be with uh, some values you can provide that values as well this is in milliseconds so make sure that you give it accordingly the last one is the disabling right this is a you have touch swiping also which you want to enable using data hyphen bs hyphen touch so once you do that you would be seeing the touch enabled functionality also the last of this is the dark variant right if you want to have a um, dark variation of this you can use carousel hyphen dark it would automatically put that class and make it enabled you see here it's now black right and on top of the white thing so it is second and similarly go it is third so image you're not able to see it because i don't have that images but feel free to go ahead and add some images and test it how it looks if you want to go to the free images you can go to unsplash.com and pick any of these images and you can give their path or link accordingly right so use this website to get some images put it on the website make it look good and let me know if you have any questions or doubts around this. That's pretty simple, straightforward uh, implementation of this component. In the next uh, episode, I will walk you through Bootstrap Breadcrumb, which is often used in almost almost all applications, I would say. Um, if not all, at least 90% of the websites will have this uh, Bootstrap Breadcrumb navigation, which is used for jumping between pages real quick. All right, so thank you so much for joining in this episode. If you like my work and tutorials, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arctutorials. Please do subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next episode.